Hey there, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this tutorial. We're getting into Podio today and we're talking about best practices and one of my favorite best practices, something that I do on almost every project, every custom client that I have, and then certainly within my own Podio setup, is using a manually stamped unique ID for our apps to make importing really, really powerful, not only to import new items, but to update existing. All right, so let's get into Podio. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we probably know how to import information into Podio. We can do that with an Excel sheet. And the import for new items is relatively straightforward. It's relatively easy. So what I have here is a sample list of names and email addresses and statuses that I'm going to import into Podio. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first import these 50 new items and leave out the status. Okay, then I'm going to show you how we can use this pasted unique ID to update that status. All right, so let's get into it. I have my contacts app right here. I'm going to import the 50 new items to start. I'm going to go Excel import. I'm going to pick my Excel file, which actually happens to be a Google Drive file, which I like to use quite a bit more, uh, just a little bit more versatile these days. I find that recent works really well too, like if I was just working on it it'll usually show up here. Okay, so there's my contacts upload. The next screen, Podio is going to ask me to map my fields. All right, so I'm gonna go first name to first name, last to last. I'm gonna leave status out for now, okay? I'm gonna pretend I kind of forgot it, right? I'm gonna bring my email address in, okay? And I'm gonna click next. Now, Podio is gonna warn me about primary keys. This is not quite too important right now because I'm importing all new stuff. So I want everything that is importing to be a new item. So I don't care about primary keys right now. On the next import, I will certainly care about it. Okay, so I'm gonna click import those 50 rows. So Podio is gonna do its thing. It's gonna import those rows. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to envision that, oh shoot, we forgot to upload that status, right? So everything is now showing up as status new because it's a required field, okay? So this status field was not updated with my import. I'm gonna to try to fix that. And the way that we can fix that is to make use of some kind of primary key. And the best way to do that is to use unique ID, all right? So Podio does allow you to have a unique ID visible on all your apps. And I encourage you to do that on just about all your apps. Go to app settings, advanced, show unique ID, okay? So showing the unique ID is fine, that's good, but unfortunately, Podio does not allow us to use this as an import primary key. So we actually need to create a new field and we can set up Globiflow to auto, I call it auto stamping that unique ID into a field that we can then use as a primary key, all right? And this is a best practice I do on almost every app that I create. I'm gonna go modify template, I usually stuff this way at the bottom. It's a text field, okay? Single line text field. I make it always hidden. There's no need for me or for anybody else in my organization to see this field. We call it unique ID text, okay? Now, once I have it there, I wanna tell Globiflow that every time a new contact gets created, take this 97, this contact ID, and paste it into that blank field, okay? And so I want to be able to see that I have unique IDs for everything. So if I look at my table view here, I'm gonna have blanks for this to start, right? There's nothing in there. So I'm gonna go into Globiflow. I'm gonna refresh my workspace so that I can pick up that new field. And I am going to tell Podio in Globiflow that every time I have a new contact added, paste in that unique ID. Okay, so contacts right here. And by the way, another best practice is I'll almost always have a new item flow created for all of my apps that usually starts empty. I think it's a really strong idea to have just one upon creation flow for your apps, okay? So I have that here and it's currently empty. There's really nothing in it. When a new item gets created, it's just ready for me to add. And then what I, what I like to use is manual flows. 
So I'm going to create a new flow. I'm going to make it a manual flow. I'm going to call it populate unique ID text. Okay. So all I'm going to do, no filters needed. The action is going to be to update item in that new field that I just added, unique ID text. The value is going to be Podio app ID formatted. Okay. So I'm going to save that. And so what I, what I do now, I have this flow created. So now I'm going to go back to my new item created flow and I'm going to trigger that manual flow. The benefit of this is now I, you know, that manual flow, maybe I would need to trigger it from some other way. And now it's available to trigger. I don't have to recreate it. So every time I create a new item, that flow will trigger. We just want to test that. Let's just add a new item. Okay, let's just add that item. And what I want to see is does that, and it right there, it gets created, okay? So that's great. Now what I need to do is I need that all of my existing items to have that unique ID populated as well, okay? And so to, to do that, another benefit of the manual flow is I can take this flow and I can go down here and I can run it. I can run this flow. I'm gonna type zero for all. And it's gonna start working through and adding that unique ID for all of my items. And the idea would be that eventually within you know a few seconds or a couple minutes, I'm gonna have a unique ID for all of those. And this is crucial because now I can import again and I can use that unique ID as, um, I can use that unique ID as my primary key. Okay, so as this is going, this will be done in a, in a moment, I'm gonna go back to my contacts list here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this again, but now I want to bring in the status. So what I need to do on my contact list is I do need to have a unique ID here as well. So I can tell the system that when it finds this unique ID in my contact list, match it to what's in Podio. And a really good trick to find this is understanding that Podio is going to import these in order that you give it to them. So um, Latoya Alexander is going to be the first one and then Max Alvarez will be the second one, right? So what we can do is we can find Latoya. We can take her unique ID, which is 53, and we can assume that every import after this was one greater, okay? And we can just copy that down. Now to check this, why don't we just take a random one? Let's take Terrence Harris. And let's make sure, yep, 88, perfect, okay? And so we're just about ready. The last check I'm gonna do is just make sure that my flow has run and that it's, it's populated this unique ID for everything. Now what's cool about this is this takes a minute because I'm updating existing items, but what's great about this best practice is that every contact in the future by default is going to have this unique ID. So if I ever have to do an import again, I'm gonna be all set. Okay, so I'm gonna import this list again, but now all I care about is unique ID and the status. I actually don't care about these first, last name, and email anymore. All I care about is that when it finds this unique ID, it finds this record, it's gonna update the status accordingly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do another import. Now what's important to understand here is I'm importing information, but I'm not going to be creating new items. So I currently have 53 contacts my goal with this import, when it, the import's complete, I do not want to have one contact more than 53. It needs to be exactly that because all I'm doing is updating items. I'm not adding any new. All right, let's get my contacts upload again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this unique ID. Now what's really tempting is to take this unique ID and to paste it right here. The problem with that is that Podio, for some wild reason, does not allow this unique ID to be a primary key, which is why we needed to create it down here. It's a ridiculous extra step we need to take, but it is an extra step we need to take. So if you were to do this on the next page, you're not gonna be able to make it a primary key, so that will not work. We're gonna take it and bring it down here to this unique ID text. Okay, and then we're gonna bring the status into the status field. I don't care about first, last, and email. I am not updating those at all. Okay, 
I'm gonna hit next. And it's on this next screen that it's extremely important that I make sure Podio knows that that unique ID is indeed my primary key. So it's, it, it guessed correctly that that is my primary key. And basically it's telling you here, items and contacts will be updated if the following are identical, the unique ID text, which is exactly what I want. Okay, if I turn this off, it's gonna create new items. I don't wanna create new items. I wanna make sure that's on. Go ahead and click import. Okay, so now what I'm looking for as this imports is my total number cannot change. I really do not want that to go above 53. If it did, then there was an error, okay? And I can already see, by the way, like things have already updated. This has been a relatively quick one, okay? So if I go into one of these items, you can see here that a few seconds ago, the status was changed from new to contacted via Excel import, okay? It didn't create a new item. This item was created eight minutes ago, but it did update this item to status equals contacted because of my Excel import, okay? And it looks like that is just about done. It looks like it did it really, really quickly, which is great. Okay, so this is a trick that I use all the time. And one of the ways that we kind of plan ahead is on just about any app, especially especially a contacts app, a deals app, something that's gonna hold a lot of data, a lot of information that might lend itself to an import. I'm gonna to wanna to do this populate unique ID on just about all of them, okay? It doesn't hurt anything to have that field sitting in the background, even if you never use it. You know, it's not gonna bother your team at all to have that over there. And it's really useful if we need to do that import. Okay, so thanks so much for watching this video. I think this is an extremely important best practice, a really strong foundation will have these types of, of tactics in it, all right? So let me know if you have any questions about this. If you tried it and it didn't work, throw that in the comments. We're gonna have plenty more videos about Podio coming up. And if you haven't done so already, go to IncomeDigs.com and sign up for the VIP list for our crash course, right? The Podio crash course is coming out very soon. We're gonna have a ton of, of training in there. We're gonna teach you how to go from nothing to building a robust system for your business all within Podio, all right? Until then, check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com and I'll see you in the next video.